takes a lot to truly master your art, and deliberate practice is a vital process to get you there. So, what is deliberate practice? Why should you do it? And how to do it? This is exactly what you're gonna find out in this video. I also added a 3 hour speed sculpt of a female bust in the background. Enjoy! Deliberate practice is a way of truly boosting your skills by purposely focusing on a specific subject by doing your research, planning ahead, and tackling that subject with an intense focus and intention of deconstructing as much information as possible. This method relies less on intuition and more on intentional results. I'll give you my top 10 tips on how to go on about practicing this way efficiently, but first, I want to cover both the pros and cons of this method. Starting with the pros, deliberate practice will allow you to have control over what you learn, how you learn it, and how well you learn it. Moreover, by truly analyzing every aspect of what you are practicing, you will have a much better understanding over your arts. This will also help you with drawing from imagination, as you will only have the information ingrained in you as a tool to create when you are not using reference. Arts will also become less scary to tackle with time as you start discovering the mysteries behind what works and what doesn't. Kind of like how a complex equation becomes a lot easier to approach once you deconstruct it and truly understand how it works. As for the cons, it takes a considerable amount of effort to truly do deliberate practice. You have to condition yourself to be able to follow through in the long run. It can get mentally exhausting. Anyways, it also takes longer to cover specific subjects. This also means your repetition, otherwise drawing or sculpting mileage will decrease as compared to speed art for example. This is why this method is not meant to replace something like daily speed art, but rather used with it so that you nullify this disadvantage. More on that later in the video. Now that we understand what deliberate practice is and what the cons and pros are, I'll give you my top 10 tips to effectively use this method to get the most out of it. Tip number 1. Leave these practice sessions to when you are wide awake. Doing it at the end of a hard working day will make it more difficult to stay focused, which kills the purpose of deliberate practice. Tip number 2. Be in a quiet environment with the least amount of distractions. Deliberate practice requires focus. Put yourself in the ideal situation where it is possible for you to be in that focused state. Tip number 3. Warm up to loosen up a bit before you start your deliberate practice. I find that helps put you in the zone before an intense session. You can do that by doing some quick sketches or a speed sculpt beforehand. A 30 minute to 1 hour warm up is more than enough. Tip number 4. Plan ahead on what you want to practice or improve. After all, you can't deliberately practice if you don't know what you want to intentionally learn to start with. Tip number 5. Compare what you want to improve with reference or art that has that part figured out. For example, if your characters are stiff and lack expression, compare them to other artists' characters that have great gesture and are very expressive. Seeing both of your work and theirs side by side will help you instantly identify what you can improve in your own work. Tip number 6. Start with shorter sessions at first. It isn't easy to stay focused for long hours from the get-go. You will end up burning yourself out right from the start. Give yourself time to bump up the daily hours. Tip number 7. Take breaks during your practice sessions. Set a timer. I personally like setting up a 30 to 45 minutes timer before I take a 5 minute break. You can stretch your wrists, arms, neck and back during these breaks to avoid injury and refuel your focus energy. Tip number 8. Recreation is a great way for deliberate practice. If you redo your work, you will undoubtedly do things a bit differently every time. Let's say you create character A for the first time and that character is stiff. The next time you draw that character, you move around the hips and shoulders and you see how that affects the gesture. You can then analyze the differences to see what helped to improve and what didn't. The more you repeat this process, the more you will discover. Tip number 9. You can always take a day off deliberate practice from time to time if it starts tiring you out. It is very mentally taxing after all. I would personally advise you to do some art on the day off nonetheless, to avoid breaking the habit of practicing since that will make it harder to stay on track. Tip number 10. The more knowledge you have on the fundamentals of art, the easier it will be to figure out things when deliberate practicing. If your anatomy is wrong, you might know it is, but not figure out exactly why. However, if you had good knowledge of anatomy to start with, then spotting these mistakes and tackling them would become a lot easier. Okay, so that makes 10 tips. I think that'll be enough for now. 
For those who watch my video on why you should speed sculpt every day, to avoid any confusion, I am not saying one method of practice should replace the other. You should take advantage of all types of practice that benefits your art. I already explained the benefits of speed art in that video, so I'll add the link in the description below. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. I will also cover more types of practice you can implement to take your art to the next level in future videos. <coughs> So make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get notified when I release a video. Before you go, let me know what you think of the points I made on deliberate practice. So did you learn anything new? Do you have anything else you'd like to add that I didn't talk about in the video? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Just leave a comment in the comment section below. Otherwise, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome character related stuff, you know, art tutorials, uh, advice like this one, and more and more cool stuff coming soon. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome character sculpts and art related videos. You can also check out my store for full courses on character sculpting, texturing, materials, brushes and more. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video then you will definitely enjoy the next one.